So the song Got Me Under Pressure comes from Eliminator, which was a huge album for ZZ Top. It had a lot of huge hits on it. Some of the other tunes are Give Me All Your Lovin' and Sharp Dressed Man. And along the lines of Got Me Under Pressure, both Give Me All Your Love and Sharp Dressed Man have this power chord sound played against the uh, low root note. So like we did in Got Me Under Pressure. <laughs> You have these little two note power chords played against a root note. So the next couple of examples are gonna be along the lines of what you hear on Give Me All Your Love and, and Sharp Dressed Man. This is gonna be in the key of C. And I'm gonna be playing root notes fretted with the thumb over the top and then these little two note power chords on either the A and D or the D and G string. And that way you can create an interesting rhythm part bouncing those two-note power chords against low root notes. And again, I use hybrid picking. And as I said, I have the thumb on that low C, and then I'm using either the ring finger or the index finger to shift between eighth and tenth fret on either two note power chords on the D and G or on the A and the D. So I start with this C5 power chord like that. And then I'm gonna be bouncing off that low E or the low C root note. So it's really cool to keep that low note sustaining and then I'm use finger picking to get the definition between that little two note power chord riff. So picking wise, the thumb strikes the sixth string and then I play those different two note power chords all with the middle and ring finger. So the pick, you can see, is tucked into my index finger. And it's nice to really try to get a pumping sound there between the accents on the sixth string and the accented two-note power chord. That initial hit is all three strings together. Out on the verse section of Sharp Dress Man, power chords like that get moved through a chord progression. So I'm gonna play a similar chord progression now, uh, and I'm gonna take that idea of pumping that low six string root note fretted with the thumb up and down the neck with those two note power chords to create a real ZZ Top style rhythm part. <laughs> So I start with that upbeat accent. Again, it's all finger picked. Start with that upbeat accent, picking all three strings, and then I immediately switch to the alternating between the low C and the two note power chord. Then I'm gonna move down to B flat. So it's really nice to... And sometimes you'll see I'm lifting that ring finger so I get a little more definition. That way I make sure it doesn't ring while I'm playing the note on the sixth string. So I go down to B flat, then down to F. Play a little single note riff. One, three, one, over to the D string. And it's a little tough to jump up. you got to get back up to eighth position. And 
And I like leaving that eighth note rest between the up B to B3 and the up B to B4. Right here. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the guitar playing of Billy Gibbons' ZZ Top. There are so many great songs and so many great solos, sounds that Billy got. Now let's just talk a brief second about his gear. He was known for using very light strings for a long time. He uh, used Gibson Brightwire 8, which was 8 through 38, very light strings. And also was known to use a Mexican peso, a coin, for a guitar pick, although a lot of times he does use a standard, typical uh, Fender heavy style pick. Be sure to check out uh, My Heads in Mississippi or Rough Boy. I mean, there's just tons and tons of ZZ Top classic hits. Check them all out. I'm Andy Allardard, and I'll see you next time.